if you're living in South and Southeast Asia, you might be familiar with Rohu or Indian Magic Carp or Labio Rohita, a freshwater fish from the carp family Cyprinidae. There are several distinct features of this fish that you might notice. Firstly, by looking at their body. They have moderately elongated shaped body, normally blue to brownish color along the back, silvery on the side and belly. The mouth is large, fringed with inner fold with thick lips. This solitary omnivorous fish is commercially cultured in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh and Myanmar. They are considered as sacred delicacies fish normally consumed during special occasions in some parts of India. Generally, Rohu prefers to feed on plant matter including submerged vegetation and phytoplankton during adulthood. However, when in fry stage, they are planktivorous, a surface feeder with diets mainly consists of zooplankton. In the wild, they naturally breed in river, reservoir and large lakes, specifically during southwest monsoon season. However, natural spawning in captivity is unheard of, so induced spawning is necessary to breed them for aquaculture production. For those of you who are working with Rohu culture, do you know how long they can survive in captivity? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this story, feel free to share and like this video, and subscribe if you like too. Thank you for watching and see you next time.